Hi, it's Ben from Ticketmaster. I'm here backstage at Reading Festival with Will Joseph Cook. How's it going, buddy? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's the last day, so my voice has gone a little bit, yeah. which is always a good state to be in. Yeah, I'd be upset if it wasn't. <laughs> um, how have you found your experience? Obviously, you did Leeds on Friday. Um, now you're here at Reading. How's it, how's it all been? Yeah, Le Leeds was a gas. Like, it's just, it's a, I think this, the, as, a, as a pair of festivals, they're a good kind of... Um, landmark is the way you're at so it's nice seeing it compared to last year and the crowds grow and stuff like that. Is there anything you particularly enjoy about playing festivals? Um, I like I like putting together festival sets I think they're really fun just because you're usually on like a hot half hour so it's just uh, you can be pretty snappy with it and just play the high energy tunes and stuff like that. Is it difficult to play to a crowd of, of people who may not know who you are? Um, I, I'd say there's it's it, Interestingly, it's got less like that. I, I guess this is the first year where maybe there's more of a, not a guaranteed crowd, but like there's always been a crowd this year at all the festivals. So um, I think I think it's fun like winning people over though. That's again like putting together a set that's going to do that is, is always interesting. Presents a bit more of a challenge, I guess, than than doing your own yeah, headline. You, know, you got a point to prove. So um, and you've got songs from your new album as well, Sweet Dreamer. Yeah. Um, how how is it performing those live now that obviously people have had time to to get to know the song? It's great because people just, yeah, as you say, like, people know them, so it just makes the whole uh, experience way more fun. Like you can just, there's a bit more like audience interaction and people singing back lyrics. It's weird but great. How have you found the response to the record? Yeah, good, good. I like. I'm super happy that it's that it came out when it did, and we've managed. You know, we got to do this whole summer and the and the last tour with people knowing the tunes and stuff. It's good, yeah, I'm <clears throat> just kind of cracking on with uh, the next thing at the moment, so... Just, What's in the pipeline then? Uh, just, just lots of tunes, man. Just been writing loads, so yeah, I want to come out pretty soon with new stuff. Cool. And you're taking uh, the show on the road as well, you've got a tour coming up. Yeah, we've got a pretty big tour. Uh, we're just basically doing a bunch of places that we didn't do last time around, so... I mean, I could, I could list them off, but I'll definitely miss one. <clears throat> but we're going up, you know, every, we're going from Edinburgh right down to, like, Brighton, so... Check it out. What can fans expect from the shows? How would you describe your live show? Uh, we're probably we're gassing it up a bit for this tour. Just want to make them a bit more bombastic, I guess. Uh, take it a bit more conceptual, maybe. Yeah. Because I was going to say you're quite heavily involved in kind of the creative side. You direct all your own videos as well. Yeah. How how does that translate to a live environment? How involved are you in the show? I mean, I can't take all the credit. They're they're co-directed videos, so like I'll do a little treatment and then and then work with someone who knows how to turn a camera on and stuff like that um, but yeah it's good so that's that's interesting you say that because that's basically what I've been trying to do like have a bit more of a relationship between a bit more of synergy between the videos and the and the live show excellent well we look forward to it uh, thank you very much for taking time chatting to us here um, and enjoy the rest of Reading Festival hey, you too, man. thank you